तो हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू आवर यूट्यूब चैनल इफ़ यू आर न्यू एंड हैवर सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल प्रेस द सब्सक्राइब बटन इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू यूज स्वीप कमांड इन सॉलिड वर्क एंड वी विल सी द डिफरेंट फीचर्स ऑफ स्वीप सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी आर गोइंग टू मेक सम ओपन लाइन स्केच सेलेक्ट द सप्लाइन ऑन इट मेड सम ओपन लाइन go to exit sketch now you can see that our swept ball space option is on so what it is saying sweep a closed profile along an open or closed path to create a solid feature mean that some closed path or closed sketch will be sweep around this open line so first of all we have to make some closed path to sweep around it for that we will just simply go to reference plane now select this line you can see that our plane is parallel to this line but we have to make it perpendicular so that our close sketch should be sweep around this line for that we just select the second reference and select this point now you can see that after selecting this point our plane has been in the normal position toward this line so select okay now we will sketch some closed path or closed sketch on this line this red line show that this is the point where you have made the plane this is the coordinate system showing on the plane now we will make a circle you can make any shape like square polygon whatever you want we have just make a circle go to exit now our sketch is ready for the sweep command go to feature select sweep boss base and so the sketch of closed profile has already been selected from here you can see that it is in blue color now we have to select the open profile path so open profile is this line so after selecting this you can see that simply our pipe shape has been made so now we will see what are the extra features in it it has the guide curve feature in option we will make the sketches and make the guide curve to understand this feature in the option there is the profile orientation there are two profile orientation either follow the path or keep normal constant keep normal constant mean if you select this so like this line is normal to this closed path at the end it is same as the starting point it is also normal here therefore it is not a, it, uh, therefore it is known as keep normal constant command follow path mean that it is just it is just following the path of the line it is not normal at the end merge tangent faces mean that if there are separate lines and they are tangent to each other each other so the shape will merge with the tangent faces now we will make the guide curves to understand what is the function of guide curve in it so for that we will again select the front plane on which we have made the sketch go to sketch and make some guide intersecting this closed path like i am going to make this spline like this now you can see that our path is different and our guide is different go to exit sketch go to feature again go to sweep boss base now from here you will select the open profile path you want to give and from here you will select this so now we will select the guide curve from here this is the option of guide curve select this guide curve and you can see that our our sketch has been guided toward this curve 
now if we want to make another guide guide curve what we will do is make again new sketch on the front line on the front plane again intersect with this so like this go to exit sketch go to the boss base again select the follow path line and select the circle now we we'll select these two guides first one is this and second one is this so you can see that how easily we have made the shape using guide curves so this was our sweat boss base command let's see what is the what are the more features in it we are deleting guide curves go to step boss base again select this now you can see there is a there is an option of twisting profile now from here you can twist your sketch or you you can twist your profile we will go to revolutions we want to give to our profile and we will give five revolutions or 50 revolutions so you can see our profile is twisting like this so you can twist any profile you want like giving the revolutions here like this or you can increase the revolutions press the okay button we can understand the twisted value by making another shape like polygon so we can see the twist on it for better understanding so go to plane make some polygon go to set boss base so now when we will give it the value of profile twist specify twist value in revolutions with one revolution you can see that it has been revolving around it so if we will give the value 2 it is it is revolving with the value of 2 so this was our twisting value command you can easily make like ropes so from here you can select the twisting value so this this was our swept boss base command now we will see what is swept cut command for that we will make a new sketch to understand it better we will make some rectangle or plate like this Swept boss base is used to add material, and swept cut is to remove the material. So, how can we remove the material? We will apply the same step, like in the swept boss base. Just go to subline, make some follow path, go to edit sketch, again make a plane. So, plane we will make by selecting this and this point. so our plane has been made now we will make some path some close sketch the shape we want to cut this path like this sketch now go to swap cut so the swap cut is same as swap boss base just it remove the material now select this open line path select okay now you can see that how easily we have removed the material using swept cut 
so this was our tutorial on swept boss base and swept cut our new video will be on the exercise of swept boss base and then we will move toward lofted boss base and guide guard so stay tuned and keep watching our videos